Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Doxy here with another video for you today. Today I'm going to give you guys a video on LSPDFR. I know it's been forever and it's been forever since I uploaded, but I'm about to upload this video for you guys and get this one out there because I know a lot of people have been commenting on the older videos and they've been saying that they still need help with certain things or certain things are out of date. So I just want to get these things up to date. So we're going to start today with installing LSPDFR fresh from install okay guys I'm going to go over all the steps this time make sure you understand how to properly install LSPDFR so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you pretty much go to LSPDFR so we're going to open up our web browser we'll go ahead and uh, search LSPDFR.com or you guys can click the link in the description and it's going to take you here to LSPDFR.com. The first thing you're going to want to do is just kind of read up a little bit on um, the download section. See all the things they got on here. You want to go click on the community where they actually have it. Get LSPDFR right here. So we'll click on this picture. Go down here. Get LSPDFR for GTA. Click on that. The only thing that uh, changes is everything. So... This is the mob we're going to be downloading for our single player. So let's go ahead and hit download on that. All right. We are also going to hit download this file. We're going to scroll all the way down, agree and download. All right. So we don't want the setup, you know, we want the, we want the manual exe. So let's download the manual. I think, I think it's been a while since I've installed this guys. Like I said, this is fresh. Like, you know, I have not installed this yet on my GTA, so I'm going to install this for you guys. All right. So I think this is what we need. Let me make sure. Yep. This is what we need. So pretty much all of this right here, we just drag and drop into our, our main game directory. So for steam users, what I want you guys to do is just simply type steam in on your search. It's going to open up Steam. From Steam, you're going to go to Library, and then from Library, you are going to go to your Grand Theft Auto, and you're going to go to Properties, and then you're going to go to um, Install Files, and it should give you a Browse section, and this is going to take you straight to your GTA 5 main game directory. But actually, guys, I have an update, so I'm going to have to wait until this updates before I could properly do the tutorial, so we'll go ahead and restart the tutorial. Well, we'll take off right where we left off right here on the tutorial as soon as this update's done. So I'll be back in a moment, guys. All right, guys, so the update is done. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go into our main game directory. All right, so right-click. We're going to go into Legacy. Right-click, Properties. We're going to go to Installed Files. And then we are going to go to Browse. Right here at Browse is going to take us straight into our main game directory. And here it is, okay guys, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, GTA 5, all right? So what we're going to do inside of here is we're going to go back one to Common. And from Common, we are going to right-click right here, and we're going to copy Grand Theft Auto 5, all right? We're going to paste it right inside of this exact folder, all right? So depending on your PC specs, this could take a while. Maybe it won't. It could be fast. It depends on your specs. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the tutorial right here, and I'll... Catch up with you guys once it's done. Be right back. All right, guys, and it's just about done with just a couple seconds left here. And um, what we did this for is because we needed a copy of Grand Theft Auto 5. So what we needed to do is make a, a main game directory copy so that we were able to make one modded and one not. So this one's going to stay the same. This one's not, okay? So what we're going to do with this is we're going to actually rename this now because these have to be named a certain way or they won't load. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a dash here, and this is going to be called clean. All right, so this is your clean version of the game. All right, this one here, you're simply just going to remove the copy and the dash and all that, and bam. All right, now this is your actual modded version of the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click inside of here. We're then going to minimize our Steam. We're going to open up that file that we downloaded. And we're going to select all contents inside this file, all right? All of them. Make sure you, con you, you copy everything in here. 
all right or there's going to be problems so everything gets copied and then drag and drop or drag and drop right into the main game directory just like that all right so we've selected everything in here and we've put it into our main game directory so now we're almost done all right so from now on what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening gta with rage plugin hook if we want to play lspdfr and i'm gonna go over that here in a second um i will do another tutorial updated on how to do everything in open iv this tutorial is just basically how to get lspdfr downloaded and running in 2025 so we're going to go on with the tutorial so now since we have this installed what we're going to do is we're going to double click on rage plugin hook right here it's going to pop up here um our dependencies might be blocked rage plugin hook has detected the following files might be blocked by windows block files may cause crashes do you want rage plugin hook to unblock these files yes All right, so when this comes up here, you are going to accept the disclaimer. This is the first time initialization, so it's going to load up now. What we're going to do is the plugin timeout threshold. We're going to change this to 60,000. All right, what we're going to do is leave F4 the same. We're going to go over here to plugins. We're going to click on load these plugins on startup, and we are going to select LSPD first response. All right, we're then going to navigate over to advanced settings and we're going to make sure that we have any settings within the advanced settings that we wish to have checked. Once we're done with that, we're going to go to game settings. From game settings, we're going to click the drop down and in game settings, we have other settings that we can also edit if we would like to. All right, well, furthermore, what we're going to do now is we are going to go to general and make sure that once again, this is at 60,000 plugins. All right, load these plugins on startup and you have LSPD first response checked. Advanced settings, you're going to go into the advanced settings and pretty much select whichever you wish. From game settings, you are going to do pretty much nothing here. All right, nothing really needs to be done here. Okay, so from here, what we are going to do is we are going to save and launch our game. All right, guys save and launch this window is going to pop up here dialog shown by start rage plugin hook press ok all right rage is going to load gta All right, hold on guys. So I'm not gonna accept that because I feel like there's something going on here with our actual GTA. Because there was that update. So I think what we need to do here is we need to launch Rockstar again, but we might not need to. You know, I might have just stopped it for no reason. We'll see what happens here. We'll see if it crashes out or what it does. I forgot about that though. We did we did update. That's I had to update. So I'm thinking that might be what our problem is about to be here is that Rockstar is not logged in. But hopefully Rockstar stays logged in. We all know how the Rockstar can be. Yep. All right, guys, so to fix the error that we're getting, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up uh, Rockstar Games. The only way that we can really fix this. Um, so we're going to put in our credentials. Go ahead and log in. All right, we're going to go ahead and click on auto sign in, sign in. And then this is the problem, all right? So right over here in settings, if you guys go over here in the settings, this battle eye right here, okay? Battle eye needs to be off. If it has a little orange check light, take that off. This needs to be off, all right? And then what we're going to do is just simply close out of Rockstar Games. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go to Steam. Quickest way we can do this if you guys don't know how to get there quickly. Properties, and we're going to go to Installed Files, and then Browse. And then from here, we're going to go down to our Rage plugin hook. Or you can always create a shortcut to this to the desktop, however you want to do it. We're going to launch this now, okay guys? 
So this is why I wasn't launching. And then when this when this message pops up here, we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And then just go ahead and minimize Steam. You don't need it open. So we're going to go ahead and let Rage do its thing now. What it's going to do is it's going to load into LSPDFR. So we'll give it a second here to go ahead and load in. And I will continue the tutorial once we are at the loading screen. Alright guys, and there you guys have it. We are now loading into Grand Theft Auto. And it looks as if Rage has taken over and is hosting it basically. So that's a good sign. That means the LSPDFR is probably going to work. We haven't had a crash yet, so that's good. The only real problems that we had anyway was the fact that we couldn't load it because of the anti-cheat, but we disabled that. So let's go ahead and go into story mode with Rage plug and hook. Now as long as everything loads correctly in this, then we will be ultimately install successful. Okay guys, so go ahead and give this a little bit of time and I will continue the tutorial once we are at the loading LSPDFR. Alright guys, loading LSPDFR first response just came in there, LSPD first response. Let's get it. Alright, so as long as everything works here, you should hear like a little bloop. There it goes. And then we are going to go right into LSPDFR, okay? Now, there's going to be a couple things that we're going to need to do. I've already did one of these things because I've already did it, kind of, yeah. So, what it is is my character. It doesn't really matter. It's You guys can create your character however you want to create your character. Um, so what we're going to do here is press start. We're going to go over here to LSPDFR. You are then going to go to switch character. If you guys don't already have one, if you've never played this before, then go ahead and hit switch character. It's going to put you into that, that GTA Online character creation type deal. Go ahead and make you a character and then make sure you hit use on that character and then that will be your character. So for me, what I'm going to do is go down here to go to nearest police station and I'm going to go ahead and go on duty. Alright, so from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the interaction, I'm going to interact with it, and then what I'm going to do is wait and see what happens. No crash, good, okay. We're going to click on go on duty. We're on duty now, so we're going to go to police locker, current uniform, the cop, go ahead and hit confirm, police garage, and you're going to want to create or select whatever car you're going to want to drive. So for me, I like to drive this one with the vanilla vehicles. I will go over how to add more vehicles, guys, how to add stop the ped, all that cool stuff. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and go over this. So go ahead and select and continue. All right, and there you guys have it. All right, you are on duty playing LSPDFR. All right, we have it in the interaction menu. Everything's good, right? It's in the pause menu. Key binds can be changed, syncs, callouts, everything's there, right? So... This is going to cover this video, alright guys, so I hope this video helped all of you, alright, if it didn't help you and you still need help, feel free to check out our Discord at Doxy Official, and you can get the latest help on any LSPDFR related um, topic. Other than that, go ahead and hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, share, comment the video, you know how it goes, and until the next one, I hope you all have an amazing day, peace.